I've heard a lot of people complain that they don't like the way that the uh, sea tug buckle works, or they don't like the way that it attaches to the boat. Um, it doesn't hold well enough, it's not tight enough, um, it's hard to adjust. Um, I just wanted to show you the, the way to do it correctly is actually the opposite of the way they show you in the video. Um, the way they show you in the video is to insert the belt this way and then close. Um, and then it's try to pull the problem. If you've ever done this, you, you know that you're not going to be able to pull this tight. And then by default, as you're ratcheting this down, you're pulling the strap looser. And then the whole time that this is pulling, it's actually pulling the strap open, not closed. Which is the opposite of what we want to do. So to do it correctly, um, the, I swear the buckle is built for this. If you pass the, the strap through the bottom here and then back through this buckle, just like the way that it looks like it should literally go, uh, from this point, what's really nice is you can really crank down on this strap as hard as you want to strap, as hard as you want to crank, um, and then go ahead and click it. And this time when you click it, you're pulling it tighter on the click. And then as the, as the tension pulls, you're cantilevering the ratchet or the, the buckle closed, um, just like on a ratchet strap. So, um, it's also nice cause you don't have to worry about it falling out. It's not going to slip out on you here. Um, it's going to be really, really easy to just get this on your boat, uh, crank it down, strap, and on your way. It's really not hard. And then the cool thing is, even as you, um, when you go to redo the strap, it's it's really easy to deal with it. So, hope that makes sense. Um, you don't need a metal buckle. You don't need anything fancy. Um, just do the strap the way that it should have been taught to you to do, not the way they showed you to do it in the picture.